Explorers have scaled the planet's highest peak and trawled its deepest ocean trench, yet Earth is still teeming with shocking secrets waiting to be revealed. Every year, scientists still chip away at the mystery hidden in the third rock from the sun, and sometimes it's just regular, everyday people doing the discovering. 20 Most Amazing Discoveries That Shocked the World Lost City of Quinang Get ready to delve into the fascinating tale of a long-lost city that's been brought to light by a team of archaeologists from the University of Witwatersand and Johannesburg. Hidden among broken walls and dry river gullies, the ruins of Quinang, located south of Africa's bustling commercial capital, were revealed to be the remnants of a once-thriving metropolis. Through the use of advanced laser technology, the team discovered a bustling cityscape with numerous households, grand meeting places, fortified family compounds, and a bustling market. The city was governed by kings who regulated trade, engaged in warfare with neighboring city-states, and resolved disputes. Recent research has also explained the complex web of commerce, agriculture, and urban development that existed across vast territories predating European colonization. While the precise date of Queen Anne's decline still isn't clear, evidence suggests that violent uprisings during the 19th century caused notable devastation. Unraveling the story of Queen Anne has its challenges. Land ownership and habitation remain contentious issues today, with local communities aiming to reclaim their ancestral lands. Beyond the political realm, the newfound knowledge of these ancient cities invites us to reconsider our understanding of Southern Africa's environment. Pristine landscapes and so-called wild regions are revealed to be shaped by human intervention and have been home to vibrant communities with intricate trade networks. As we unlock the secrets of forgotten cities, the narrative of Africa's past continues to evolve, shining a light on the continent's rich history and challenging long-held misconceptions. It's a testament to the resilience, sophistication, and interconnectedness of African civilizations throughout the ages. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. What they discovered in the middle of nowhere shocked the whole world. Friends in Australia took this picture against the background of this alleged crashed alien ship, taking a selfie in any incomprehensible situation. According to the men, they came across something unusual when they were riding motorcycles. When they returned several hours later, the flying saucer was gone. The police had cartoned off the site of the alleged crash. The area was thoroughly cleaned. No one can say where the alien ship went, if, of course, it was an actual UFO. Perhaps police took it to a special base. Now, many alien conspiracy theorists believe it's being studied by some scientists within the walls of a secret complex. As you know, they've even suggested that NASA not only believes in the existence of humanoids from outer space, but they also communicate with them. But what do you think? What did these guys see out there in the Australian outback? Real? were just too unreal to be believed. Comment below using hashtag Sweet Topic. The Spanish Stonehenge Amidst the scorching Spanish summer, an unexpected delight has emerged from the country's severe drought, a prehistoric stone circle affectionately known as the Spanish Stonehenge. The ancient marvel, officially called the Dolmen of Guadalajara, has revealed itself as the waterline of a dam receded due to the dry spell. Dating back all the way to 5000 BC, the circle was made up of dozens of megalithic stones proudly displayed in the corner of the Val de Canas Reservoir. With the water level now at only 28% capacity, archaeologists have seized the rare opportunity to study the circle before it disappears underwater again. These vertically arranged stones, often supporting a flat boulder, are called domens. While their purpose remains a mystery, the prevailing theory suggests they might have served as tombs, considering the human remains found nearby. Although discovered in 1926, the area was submerged during a rural development project in 1963. Since then, the dolmen has only emerged from its watery cocoon a handful of times, making this occasion all the more remarkable. Local history and tourism associations have proposed relocating the stones to a museum on drier land, but they're still sticking around for tourists. Unfortunately, the drought has taken its toll on local farmers, leaving their fields parched and their livestock thirsty. Rainfall has been scarce, prompting the need to transport water for the animals, 
with climate change contributing to the driest conditions the Iberian Peninsula has experienced in over a millennium. The future seems to hold even drier winters, as revealed in a study published by the Nature Geoscience Journal. Yet, amidst the hardships, the Spanish Stonehenge has emerged as a fascinating reminder of our ancient past, drawing visitors and capturing imaginations even in the face of adversity. Buried Under Greece Archaeologists in Greece have stumbled upon an exciting discovery that might just give Egypt a run for its ancient money. A team of Swedish and Greek experts have unearthed a hidden gem of a city located a brisk 190 miles north of Athens. This 2,500-year-old metropolis was hidden underground and perched on a hill overlooking the Thessalian plains. It seems like the city wanted the best of both worlds, hidden from plain sight yet sky-high on its hilltop perch. It turns out the hill had been hiding in plain sight, and no one bothered to explore it until now. Talk about a missed opportunity. From the summit to the slopes, this place is decked out with towers, walls, and city gates. You'd almost think that they were trying to keep something hidden from unsuspecting eyes. It's like they built a secret city for their ancient game of hide-and-seek. Instead of using shovels and brushes, the excavation team is employing some fancy ground-penetrating radar to peek beneath the surface. It's like a new version of X-ray vision, but for archaeologists and history buffs. So far, they found a town square, a street grid, and even some ancient pottery and coins. It's like a real-life time capsule. This discovery has the potential to rewrite history books and put this backwater region back on the ancient map. Who knew the plains had such a swanky past? The team hopes to unravel the mysteries of this forgotten city and uncover what caused its eventual abandonment. Perhaps they should hire some ancient detectives to crack the case. Regardless, it's still an exciting find that has everyone buzzing with anticipation. Move over, Egypt. Greece is stepping up its ancient game, the lesser-known city. In the realm of ancient wonders, Gobekli Tepe has garnered most of the fame as a 12,000-year-old prehistoric site, but let's not overlook its charming sister site in southern Turkey, Karahan Tepe, which shares striking similarities and mysteries waiting to be unearthed. Tucked just a quick 45 kilometers or 27 miles east from Gobekli Tepe, Karahan Tepe has been quietly basking in its own archaeological intrigue since its discovery in 1997. Although it has yet to be fully excavated, preliminary digs have shown a stunning resemblance to its renowned sibling. Both sites rest amidst the craggy embrace of the Tek Tek Mountains. With Karahan Tepe perched at around 700 meters or nearly 2,300 feet above sea level, presenting a slightly gentler landscape. Its ruins encompass a smaller area compared to Gobekli Tepe, yet bear familiar features such as pillars, obelisks, and intricate animal sculptures. Archaeologists have documented a stunning 274 architectural treasures at Karahan Tepe, most notably its resilient pillars, with 266 of them still standing tall. Some of these marvels boast mesmerizing reliefs depicting serpents and human visages, adding a touch of artistry to the ancient site while its exact age remains a mystery for now. It likely thrived during the same period as Gobekli Tepe in the pre-pottery Neolithic era. The astonishing aspect is its existence during a time when agriculture was assumed to be the starting point for complex structures, challenging conventional wisdom about the origins of settled civilizations. As the world's oldest megalithic site, Gobekli Tepe sometimes stands as an outlier in our understanding of history. The Discovered Dragon Here's a tale of a fearless team of adventurers that braved fossil thieves, crumbling bones, and bird droppings to unearth the magnificent sea dragon in Rutland, the mighty ichthyosaur. The largest and most complete skeleton of its kind in the UK has captured the hearts of paleontologists and the public alike. But the journey to preserve this prehistoric treasure was no walk in the park and the biscuit-like fragility of the 180 million year old bones added another layer of complexity. Each bone was meticulously documented and protected, even when a mischievous rear fin pointed in the wrong direction, hinting at scavenging behavior. Transporting the massive skeleton also proved to be quite the task. The head and body weighed a whopping ton and a half that couldn't be lifted without the aid of heavy machinery. Once safely relocated, the real work began. The team began uncovering the secrets hidden within the fossil. 
The cost of fully uncovering the 10-meter marvel and securing its permanent display still remains uncertain. With the support of wildlife trusts, councils, and devoted enthusiasts, they hope to unveil the ichthyosaur's mysteries and find it a grand home worthy of its magnificence. But it won't be happening overnight. Phase by phase, under the watchful eye of a microscope, the bones will be cleaned, conserved, and studied. Pathologies will be uncovered, and the stomach contents will reveal the last meal of the ancient sea dragon. Its grand exhibit will demand more than just a room, it might need a wing of its own. So, stay tuned for this epic tale of discovery, preservation, and a colossal sea dragon that will continue to captivate the imagination for years to come. Mosaic for the masses In a stroke of luck, archaeologists in the Syrian province of Homs stumbled upon a time capsule from the 4th century, this time in the form of a stunning Roman-era mosaic panel. This remarkable relic, discovered in a residential suburb, boasts a pattern like no other, with thousands of colorful mosaic pieces meticulously crafted from tiny grains and glass. Measuring a whopping 20 meters long and 6 meters wide, this mosaic masterpiece once graced the hall of a grand building, likely a castle. While some fragments still await excavation, over 90% of the artwork remains intact, making it a rare and complete find in Syria. The mosaic has a keen eye for detail bringing to life an extraordinary scene from Greek mythology that would have otherwise been lost to time. Picture Amazonian warriors, water deities, and mythical nymphs, all captured with exquisite precision. But on top of that, the mosaic even revealed the names of the kings who fought in the legendary Trojan War. Hailed as a globally significant discovery, the mosaic has caused quite a stir among the archaeological community. Its pristine condition and captivating depiction provide a window into the ancient world and showcase the remarkable craftsmanship of the time. But the excitement doesn't end there. As if this dazzling find wasn't enough, eight additional mosaic panels have been detected in the area, promising further exploration and more surprises. It's a perfect opportunity to marvel at the beauty and artistry of the ancient mosaic, a precious glimpse into a bygone era. As the excavation work continues, who knows what other secrets and wonders will be unveiled in this historic Syrian suburb. The Deepest Dive In a remarkable feat of exploration, a U.S. Navy destroyer from World War II has been discovered at a mind-boggling depth of nearly 7,000 meters below the sea level near the Philippines, claiming the title of the world's deepest shipwreck ever found. The USS Samuel B. Roberts, affectionately known as Sammy B., sank during a fierce battle off the coast of Samar Island on October 25, 1944. As part of the U.S. campaign to liberate the Philippines from Japanese occupation, a team of adventurers from Texas-based company Caladan Oceanic embarked on the series of daring dives, capturing breathtaking footage and images of the battered hull of the Sammy B. The remains revealed the ship's torpedo launcher, gun mount, and the scars of its former fight against the Japanese Navy. Resting at an astonishing depth of 6,895 meters, this remarkable discovery surpasses the previous record holder for the world's deepest shipwreck, the USS Johnston, also found by Caladan Oceanic's Victor Vescovo in 2021. The Sammy B story is one of courage and sacrifice, with the crew enduring three harrowing days before rescue enduring wounds and even some shark attacks. But in a more tragic turn, 89 crew members of the total 224 were unable to survive the full journey. As part of their ambitious mission, the team has also sought the wrecks of the USS Gambier Bay and USS Howell, but were unable to locate them due to limited data. Meanwhile, the Titanic, one of history's most famous shipwrecks lies in much shallower waters at around 4,000 meters. Bronze Between Nations Italian archaeologists have made an astonishing discovery in the town of San Casciano de Bagni, Tuscany, which they describe as the most remarkable find in the past 50 years. We'll have to be the judge of that. Turns out that they have unearthed two dozen perfectly preserved bronze statues dating back over 2,000 years, believed to be from a sacred pool. The site, known for its hot springs, was once a sanctuary built by the ancient Etruscans. These statues provide a unique historical context, 
shedding light on the relationship between the Etruscan and Roman civilizations and potentially rewriting history. Excavations have also revealed a large marble pool adorned with fountains and altars dedicated to gods such as Apollo. The sanctuary served as a place of hope and healing for the sick who left behind offerings representing their ailments. The recent discoveries, including bronze depictions of internal organs, has shown us an incredible glimpse into ancient life. The find not only deepens our understanding of the Etruscan civilization, but also highlights the peaceful coexistence between the Etruscans and Romans, who were historically at odds more often than not. It could even reshape our knowledge of the transition from the Etruscan civilization to the Roman Empire. The statues are currently being studied at a restoration institute in Grosseto and will eventually be displayed in a new museum in San Casciano de Bagni. Further excavations are planned for the spring as archaeologists aim to uncover more secrets from this remarkable site. The discovery has sparked a renewed passion for uncovering the mysteries of the past while paying homage to the civilization that once thrived there. The Desert Kites In the vast deserts of Saudi Arabia, there is an interesting secret from ancient times known as desert kites. No, they're not flying toys, but fascinating structures that ancient nomadic hunters used for their unique hunting game. Picture giant elongated triangles made of stones, stretching for miles. These desert kites were cleverly designed traps to catch speedy gazelles and other classic game animals in the area. The formations had walls made of rocks, creating a maze-like network leading to a narrow funnel. The idea was to lure the animals into this maze and guide them towards a central corral area prime for one final strike. Talk about a sneaky hunting strategy. The builders of these kites were ancient masterminds, using the natural terrain to their advantage. Stones were meticulously arranged to create paths that would direct the animals right where the hunters wanted them. Once the game was trapped, the nomadic hunters would have a feast fit for kings, meat, hides, and everything in between. These desert kites today are basically like time capsules, taking us back thousands of years to the Neolithic period. Imagine the ingenious ideas and resourcefulness of our ancient ancestors, adapting to the harsh desert environment. They were the original desert survival experts. Today, desert kites are like puzzle pieces from the past revealing insights into ancient hunting practices, social organization, and even the ecological knowledge of these desert-dwelling communities. Archaeologists are like detectives, uncovering clues and preserving the rich heritage of Saudi Arabia. So, if you ever find yourself wandering through the desert, keep an eye out for these fascinating stone mazes. Just don't get trapped in the center, a newly discovered past. The Akambaro figures are a collection of more than 30,000 small ceramic figurines discovered near Akambaro, Mexico, hence their name. They were first acknowledged back in the 1940s and caused quite a stir because they appear to depict various types of dinosaurs and other extinct creatures. What made the discovery controversial was the fact that the figures were dated to the pre-Columbian era, suggesting they were made by an ancient civilization that somehow coexisted with these prehistoric creatures. Of course, this theory challenged the mainstream scientific understanding of history, which holds that dinosaurs went extinct millions of years before the rise of human civilizations. But what else could it be? Some researchers proposed alternative theories, suggesting that either dinosaurs survived longer than previously thought, or that the figures were a modern hoax. However, the general consensus is that the figures are indeed modern creations. Scientific investigations and analysis have shown that the figurines were likely produced by local artists in the mid-20th century. The style, techniques, and materials used in their creation align with the artistic practices of that time period. Additionally, no credible evidence supporting the coexistence of dinosaurs and humans has been found elsewhere. It's a bit of a downer. But even if some ancient humans living with dinosaurs never happened, these art pieces still remain as an intriguing part of archaeological history. They serve as a reminder of how careful scrutiny and scientific analysis are essential in evaluating extraordinary claims, even when they capture our imagination. The Lost City of Troy For those that remember reading up on history in high school, the city of Troy might still be fresh in your memory. This ancient city captured the imaginations of people for centuries with its tales of epic battles, heroic warriors, 
and a little thing called the Trojan Horse. Troy was a bustling metropolis of its time, with grand walls that protected its citizens and buildings that reached for the sky. It was said to have been the home of the brave Trojan prince, Paris, who caused quite a stir by whisking away the beautiful Helen, the Queen of Sparta. The audacious act led to the famous Trojan War, a clash between the mighty Greeks and Trojans. The city of Troy stood tall, facing endless sieges and countless arrows, until that fateful day when the Greeks finally breached its walls and conquered the heart of the city. And just like that, the mythical city of Troy became a part of history, leaving behind stories that would be told for generations. Archaeologists have since unearthed the remains of this once great city, bringing to life the tales of old. They've discovered remnants of the ancient walls, pottery, and even evidence of a long-lost love affair between Paris and Helen. The city may be in ruins now, but its legend lives on, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit can endure and leave a lasting mark on the pages of history. Ancient Amazons Real-life Amazon warriors were more than just the fictional characters you see in the movies. They rode horses, fought with bows and arrows, and were as fierce as any man in combat. Archaeologists have been on a quest to uncover their secrets, and it looks like they recently hit the jackpot. In a tiny Russian village called Davitsa, a team of adventurers stumbled upon a tomb straight out of mythology. Inside, they found not one, not two, but four warrior women who were buried together, armed to the teeth with weapons and horseback riding gear. These fierce ladies were part of a nomadic tribe called the Scythians, and seems that in Scythian culture, women warriors were pretty standard. These women lived and fought alongside their male counterparts, and they were buried with the same honor and respect. The youngest warrior was just a young teenager, while the others were in their 20s and even their 40s. These ladies wore trousers, which were essential for their horseback adventures, and they sported battle wounds that proved their bravery. One of the women, the oldest among them, had a stunning gold headdress called a calithos. It was the first of its kind discovered in the region, and it sat proudly on her skull, a symbol of her status and strength. Another woman was found with a bronze mirror two spears, and a fashionable glass bead bracelet. She was even buried in the position of a horseman, forever ready to ride into the sunset. These remarkable discoveries give us a glimpse into the incredible lives of these warrior women and show us that courage knows no gender. Lost City of Tania In a sleepy village, a well-digging expedition recently took an unexpected turn. The team unearthed an ancient sarcophagus, and in the process revealed the lost city of Tania. Enter archaeologist Eleni Korka and her daring team protecting the city from cunning looters. They discovered a colossal Roman building with intricate stonework and a trove of 18 silver and copper coins, an iron pickaxe, key, stylus, and Roman ceramics. But the surprises didn't stop there. A hidden stash of 2100 coins from the 5th and 6th centuries AD appeared featuring famous figures. Nearby, a building showcased Corinthian drachma, miniature vases, lamps, and figurines of birds and horses. As they ventured deeper into Tania's secrets, they uncovered another gem, a glorious building near the bustling Roman marketplace. This enchanting structure, with its foundation brimming with artifacts from the archaic and classical periods, revealed Corinthian drachma, miniature vases, lamps, and figurines. It was like stumbling into an ancient toy store, complete with miniature wonders depicting birds, horses, and a parade of other charming creatures. A grand retaining wall protected the city, interrupted by a secret cistern, or a water park of ancient times. Tania had come alive, sharing its legendary tales of adventure, treasure, and the joy of unearthing the past. Shipwreck from the Past During a marine survey for a subsea interconnection project, an ancient shipwreck was discovered off the coast of Kythera in Greece. The sunken cargo ship, which sank sometime around 2,500 years ago, was found at a depth of 728 feet, revealing a possible developed trade in the region during that time. The ship's deck was covered with hundreds of tall ancient Greek jars called amphoras. Scientists from the Hellenic Center for Marine Research used advanced technology, including a submarine remote control vehicle called the Max Rover to investigate the shipwreck, they found clay vessels from Chios, 
pythos, table vessels, a fish panel, and two skyfids, providing valuable insights into the ship's cargo. The researchers are still working on creating a three-dimensional image of the shipwreck to better understand its size and the volume of its contents. The discovery follows the finding of another ancient Greek shipwreck in the Black Sea in 2018, which was held as the oldest intact shipwreck ever discovered in the area. The 75-foot-long Greek trading vessel, complete with its mast, rudders, and rowing benches, had been preserved for over 2,400 years. The site, known as Shipwreck Graveyard, has already yielded more than 60 other vessels. The latest exploration in 2017 led to the confirmation of the world's oldest intact shipwreck, featuring a design previously seen only on ancient Greek pottery, like the famous Siren Vase in the British Museum. These remarkable discoveries provide glimpses into the seafaring history of ancient Greece, offering archaeologists and historians valuable insights into maritime trade, shipbuilding techniques, and the daily lives of ancient sailors. A Missing Mummy In the land of ancient Egypt, archaeologists have made another remarkable discovery at the Saqqara Necropolis, home of many mysteries. This time they've stumbled upon a 3,200-year-old pink granite sarcophagus belonging to a high-ranking official named Ta M. Wea. The distinguished individual held various important titles during the reign of Ramses II, including royal secretary, chief overseer of cattle, and head of the treasury. Unfortunately, when the archaeologists opened the sarcophagus, they found it empty, with its contents long gone. It seems that grave robbers beat them to the mummy unless a curse brought it back to life to wander the earth once more. Traces of resin inside the sarcophagus indicate that it did indeed contain a mummified body at some point. The inscriptions inside reveal that they once shared a significant role in the kingdom. He served as a trusted royal secretary, responsible for overseeing cattle and managing the treasury. The Saqqara Necropolis has been a treasure trove of discoveries in recent years. Excavations have revealed hundreds of sarcophagi, bronze statues, wooden coffins adorned with hieroglyphs, and exquisitely preserved mummies. Sitting southwest of Cairo, Saqqara served as the final resting place for Memphis, the ancient capital of Egypt. Its historical importance was recognized by UNESCO, which designated the ruins of Memphis as a World Heritage Site in 1979. Known for his grand building projects, Ramses expanded Egypt's cities, temples, and monuments. While we have official records for Ramses' reign, Ptah Mwia's discovery sheds light on the vast bureaucracy that supported the pharaoh's rule. Oldest Pearl in the World The world's oldest natural pearl, lovingly called the Abu Dhabi Pearl, has been unearthed on the Marawa Island by intrepid archaeologists from the Department of Culture and Tourism, Abu Dhabi. This exquisite gem dates back a whopping 8,000 years to the Neolithic period, proving that even our ancient ancestors had an eye for luxury. During those ancient times, pearls were considered precious and used for fancy adornments. This majestic jewel will be on display for the public to marvel at, making its first appearance since its remarkable discovery. The Abu Dhabi pearl earned its place in history as it predates two other significant pearl discoveries. Carbon dating has confirmed its status as the oldest pearl ever found, making it a true gem among gems. The Marawa site, where the pearl was found has been a treasure trove of ancient wonders since its discovery in 1992. Among the fascinating artifacts uncovered are collapsed stone structures from the Neolithic era, an imported ceramic vase, flint arrowheads, and precious stone and shell beads. Archaeological experts speculate that pearls were traded with Mesopotamia in exchange for exquisitely decorated ceramics and other desirable goods. The art of pearling required detailed knowledge of pearl beds and navigational skills. Once mastered by the ancient inhabitants, pearling became a vital part of the UAE's economy, lasting for countless generations. So even thousands of years ago, our ancestors recognized the allure of precious pearls. The Abu Dhabi pearl stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of luxury and the remarkable skills of those who sought out these treasures beneath the waves. The Empire Returns Hold on to your adventurer's hat because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey to the hidden wonders of Cambodia. Archaeologists have recently unearthed the fabled lost city of the mighty Khmer Empire and it's more awe-inspiring than any Indiana Jones movie. Nestled deep within the dense jungles, 
This ancient city has been shrouded in mystery for centuries. Legends whispered about its existence, and now it's come to light. It's like stumbling upon a real-life treasure map. The ruins of this remarkable city belong to the Khmer Empire, a civilization that flourished over a thousand years ago. Imagine wandering through the remnants of their majestic temples, marveling at intricate carvings and ancient statues. It's a history buff's dream come true. The archaeological jackpot also revealed a vast network of canals and reservoirs that once kept the city thriving. Who needs modern plumbing when you have an entire water system built by ingenious ancient engineers? But this empire wasn't just about practicality. They had a flair for the creative arts as well. Intricate pottery, dazzling jewelry, and awe-inspiring sculptures have been uncovered, giving us a glimpse into their creative brilliance. It's like stepping into a time machine and experiencing a lost world firsthand. You can almost hear the echoes of bustling marketplaces and the whispers of ancient legends as you wander through these captivating ruins. So, pack your adventure gear and get ready to immerse yourself in the wonders of the Khmer Empire's lost city. Who knows what other secrets are waiting to be revealed? Let's uncover the past and create new stories to tell for generations to come. Temple of Nirit Get ready to be blown away by more mind-boggling discoveries made in Egypt. Archaeologists have unveiled the long-lost temple of Queen Nirit, the wife of King Teddy. Deep within the Saqqara archaeological site adjacent to the Pyramid of King Teddy, an Egyptian team has stumbled upon some incredible finds. These discoveries will rewrite the history books, especially regarding the New Kingdom's 18th and 19th dynasties when Pharaoh Teddy was worshipped. It's really got it all. From a lavish temple dedicated to Queen Nirit to three mud-brick warehouses for storing temple goodies and tools. The treasures found inside will make your jaw drop. The team uncovered 52 burial shafts filled with ancient wooden coffins adorned with scenes of gods and passages from the Book of the Dead. They also discovered another hidden stash of 50 well-preserved coffins and a luxurious underground shrine. The shafts were teeming with archaeological wonders, including statues of deities, Shabti figurines, and even a four-meter-long papyrus from the Book of the Dead. It really is a treasure trove of ancient artifacts. Imagine unearthing a limestone stella that depicts a man named Kapata and his wife in front of the god Osiris with their children and grandchildren by their side. This stunning piece of art provides a glimpse into their lives and family tree. It's an ancient photo album from times long forgotten. These discoveries shed new light on the New Kingdom and the importance of Saqqara as a cultural and tourist destination. It's a game changer that will have history buffs and adventurers flocking to explore this incredible site. Prepare to be amazed as the ancient world comes to life before your very eyes. The Found Fortress Archaeologists from the Israel Antiquities Authority, or IAA, have uncovered a fortress that offers insights into the ancient conflicts described in the Book of Judges from the Bible. The fortress reveals a glimpse into the geopolitical dynamics of the time when the Canaanites, Israelites, and Philistines were engaged in fierce battles. During this period, Canaan was under Egyptian rule, but in the 12th century BC, the Israelites and Philistines emerged as new players in the region, leading to territorial disputes and violent clashes in response to this changing geopolitical situation. The Galon Fortress was built as an attempt by the Canaanites and Egyptians to adapt However, when the Egyptians withdrew from Canaan in the middle of the 12th century BC, the Canaanite cities were left unprotected and were subsequently destroyed, likely by the Philistines. The Galon Fortress itself measures 18 by 18 meters and features watchtowers on each corner. The entrance is marked by a massive threshold carved from a single rock, and inside there is a courtyard with stone slabs and columns. During the excavation, the archaeologists discovered numerous pottery vessels, some of which were intact, including special vessels likely used for religious rituals. The findings also included bowls, indicating cultural influences. The significance of this discovery lies in how it aligns with the narratives found in the Book of Judges, illustrating the complex geopolitical reality and territorial struggles that characterized the establishment of new political powers in ancient Israel. Similar fortress structures, known as Egyptian governor houses, have been found at other excavation sites in Israel. Holy Discoveries 
Archaeologists in Buckinghamshire, England have made yet another exciting discovery during the construction of the controversial HS2 high-speed railway system. This time, they've uncovered the remains of a medieval church dating back over a millennium. The team of over 40 researchers found three-foot-tall flint walls forming a square structure, a circular boundary ditch, and even several burials beneath the church. But that's not all. The church holds significant historical importance as it's been a part of the local community for over 900 years. They're even moving nearly 3,000 bodies to a new burial ground during the excavation. It's like giving those ancient souls a new resting place, whether they like it or not. The church served as a hub for the community, with generations being laid to rest here. It's like peering into the lives of their ancestors and unraveling the secrets of the past. Archaeologists have been digging up and studying sites like this across Britain, revealing a clearer picture of the country's history. So, as the excavations continue, who knows what other wonders lie beneath the ground? The journey to uncover the mysteries of the past continue, and each discovery brings us closer to understanding our roots and the stories of those who came before us. It's like being a part of real-life historical detective stories. It takes a lot to shock the whole world, but there's plenty of options out there. As long as you have a camera ready, you never know what kind of amazing discovery you might find next.